Vanessa Creates and I was just creating my gift wrap for the holidays this year and I thought this would make such a great video. I should I should film it. So I pulled out my camera, here you are, here I am, and I'm gonna cover kind of my sustainable gift wrapping tips and tricks. So if you want to hear them, stay tuned. I tend to be a pretty eco-conscious person and every year I try to wrap my gifts as sustainably as possible. And this video is by no means is meant to be preachy or tell you what to do and say that this is the best method because it's not. You know, I was zero waste like maybe six years ago for about a year and I learned a lot of valuable lessons but I just couldn't upkeep that lifestyle. Like it wasn't sustainable to me. And I don't see it as a failure. I learned a lot of things and I come to realize that sustainability isn't about being perfect. It's just about making informed and conscious decisions. So these are my informed conscious decisions. And if you have others, I'd love to hear them. Let me know in the comments below. So tip one, is I like to keep a bin of gift wrapping supplies. So a lot of the things in here are things that I have found and given and now I'm going to reuse. So this box for example, this would be great for a gift so instead of recycling it, I held on to it. As well as ribbons, they come from, you know, I think this one came from some cookies. This one probably came from a gift that I got. I received a gift bag. I just put it put it in here. When I get um, a present that's been wrapped, I just neatly take it apart, fold it up, and put it in my bin. When I'm going to wrap a new gift, I like to go through this bin. Just go through all. There's a lot. <laughs> just go through all the different types of paper. So I've saved, you know, wrapping paper, tissue paper. It's it's all in there. But I have a pretty good stock of what's in here. And in here is meant for smaller gifts. This year's for Christmas I got some pretty large gifts. So we'll have to move on to my other tips. So if you are gonna buy paper, new paper, that's fine. If that brings you joy, go for it. I like to get paper that doesn't have a theme that I can kind of use year round and then allow other people to also use the paper year round. So my go-to favorite is this brown craft paper. It's super versatile, it's super recyclable. You know, I, I've customized it in so many different ways. I've drawn on them, I've painted on them, stamped on it. Whatever you wanna do, go for it. And you know, for like this year, for a kid's gift, I used some markers and I painted just some Christmas lights. You know, this paper, this was actually, this is a funny story. My sister found this, oh, she was out for a walk and I guess it was recycling day. And someone just had this in their recycling bin. And she picked it up and it was clean and beautiful. So she took it home because it had quite a bit of wrap paper and we're like, this is great. And what's perfect about it is that it's not specific for any holiday. It doesn't scream like happy Hanukkah or it's a boy. Like it's very versatile and you know you could use it throughout the year and hopefully it gets used again. Tip number three is to minimize waste by knowing everything you need to wrap. So I like to lay out everything in front of me and while keeping smaller gifts kind of to the side. So this year, this was my only smaller gift. So I had this one off to the side. And while I was wrapping this gift, it was, I knew I needed to have an off cut. And I was like, okay, how can I have that off cut become this gift wrap? So I just eyeballed it. I'm not saying I have to take a, like a ruler out of measure, but eyeball and if you can you know, use that off cut instead of recycling it, go for it. So that's tip number three. Tip number four is decorating with natural materials. This is my favorite because not only is it compostable, it's beautiful. So I do this for, for most of my guests 
And you know, depending on the season, I like to use plants of that season. So during the winter holidays, I'll use more like this is a cypress tree, or I'll find like some coniferous needles and decorate with that. Even some pine cones are really cute. Other foliage you can use is eucalyptus. This looks great year round. It smells so good. Also, salal is a great choice, which is what florists use in their bouquets. It's just the greens of bouquets. And baby's breath is another go to one that I love to use as well. Wrap. And you know, a touch of green or a touch of light always, always brings so much joy. So, tip number five is just get creative, have fun. Like, whatever you can reuse for gift wrap, do it. Go for it. You know, if you have an old shirt with a fun pattern that you love, use that. If you have newspaper, use that. The comic book section would be beautiful. They're so fun. A children's drawing, a drawing that you have. You know, for example, I used my thesis presentation as gift wrap for a friend's wedding. It was rolled up in my closet after my thesis, and I went to go wrap my friend's toaster. And I was like, you know what? I'm never gonna unroll my thesis rolls and, and look at it. So rather than just having them sit in my closet, I might as well just, just use it as a gift wrap. And it turned out beautifully. So that, you know, just have fun. If you have big scrolls of paper, just use it. Like, use whatever you have. So that's all the tricks and tips I have up, up my sleeve of sustainable wrapping. I think the main goal is, for me at least, is to reuse as much as I can. Wrapping doesn't need to be a singular use. I love that I can give ribbons and paper a second life. I'm going to use what I have. And if I, can, if I get something, rather than throwing it out, I'm going to reuse it. So that's, that's my intent and my conscious decision on wrapping. If you have any sustainable wrapping tips, I would love to hear them. Please let me know in the comments below. I 